Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Um, David De Gea simply because of the remarkable strides he's made to earn the worldwide respect that now exists. From an insecure, hesitant spell, he's grown into a supremely confident and assured character. And the finish! Luis Suarez. Messi plays it out to the flank. Roberto. Oh, that's neat. Busquets. Dembele passes it through. Luis Suarez. Roberto. He's had a shot. And that's caused a worry or two. Iniesta certainly could have and should have made more of that. Played out to the wing. Mukitarian. Jordi Alba with good energy in defence as well. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. That's Mukitarian. Stupid defending to ensure they got no further. And it's Roberto. Plays it into the channel. Oh, that's nice. Tries to crawl. In for a header! Good delivery. No joy. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Shoots! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Jordi Alba. And it's Dembele. Tries to dink it in. Shoots! A oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Going for goal! Same again, same outcome. This is... That'll be the final action of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reached the halfway point. Barcelona ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Barcelona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they... And the finish! Goal! There is the breakthrough! An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. All the way back, and they start again. De Gea gets it upfield. Rakitic gets it back. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. <laughs> Had a shot! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. 
Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Barcelona with another corner. Up he gets! Harmlessly behind. Iniesta. Sergio Busquets. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind them up in the process, Peter. Forward it goes. And it's Mkhitaryan. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Steered out wide. Jordi Elba floats one over. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. Where to from here? Matic looks to dink one in. Great tackle, he had to get that right. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And that's that. Barcelona hold on. A narrow squeak. 